From cluttered cupboards to the cosmos, the key chemical in mothballs, naphthalene, could be a cheap replacement for expensive xenon gas-powered space thrusters. This solution to propelling satellites comes from a PhD student at the Australian National University. I suggested that perhaps we can look at uh, substances that sublimate, that is, they go from solid states to gas without going uh, through the, the liquid state. It's great because you just heat it up a bit and you go from solid to gas. And if you uh, throw out gas into space, you will have a force in the opposite direction. Though it's safe enough to go in your wardrobe, it needed to be put to the test in more extreme conditions. And that's where this simulated vacuum chamber named Wombat comes in. You can just pull this door, put your thruster in, and you can then pump the air out using a, a series of pumps. And then you have the conditions of space. Having been successfully trialled, the thruster called Bogong will soon be put to the ultimate test when it's fitted to satellites going into space in mid-2022. We're trying to make this liaison between what the university does and commercialising the system and testing it in space to be a bit of a norm so that everyone can see that if you're doing research at university, you can get your product out and it can work in a commercial sphere. The first step in making satellites cheaper and safer. Harry Frost, ABC News, Canberra.